<laughs> Great. So here's the... Sub uh, uh, okay, the cubic <laughs> equation, 2x cubed plus 3x plus 3 plus 0 has roots alpha, beta, gamma. Use the substitution x equals u plus 2 to find the cubic equation in u. Actually, we, we did all right with this bit. So substitution of that into there is going to give us 2u plus 2 cubed plus 3u plus 2 plus 3 is 0. Just be careful multiplying it out. 2 lots of u cubed plus 3 times u squared times 2 plus 3. I don't know what I'm doing it this way, but I'm doing binomial expansion on 3 times u times 2 squared plus 2 cubed plus 3u plus 6 plus 3 is 0. It's quite a nice way of doing that, isn't it? Giving us 2u cubed plus 6 times 2 is 12u squared plus 12 times 2 is 24, u plus 8 doubled is 16, plus 3u plus 9, giving us 2u cubed plus 12u squared <coughs> plus 27u plus 25 is 0. And there we are, just having to be careful going all the way through. It's easy to make mistakes, isn't it? I should have got a mark, surely. Yeah, yeah, I think you probably could. Yeah. That's one more thing. Oh. oh, James. Um, right, so that was just half a bit. It's overtaken you. And now part two. I'm going to have to kill you. Um, hence, find the value of 1 over alpha minus 2 plus 1 over beta minus 2 plus 1 over, uh, 1 over gamma minus 2. Right. Now, we, we kind of, I think a lot of us failed to see the connection between this and part one. But they are connected, aren't they? So, so let's think our way through what we've got from this. Um, we use this substitution here. So that substitution actually means that u is x minus 2, doesn't it? Okay. Now that means that the roots of this new equation that we found are Alpha minus two, beta minus two, gamma minus two. Minus. Well, hang on. We'll we'll have a look at that once we've got once we get through it. Um, so let's so let's let's think through that way. Our new equation. Um, well, that says new new equation. I'm going to say has roots <laughs> a, b, and c. Just just to kind of keep this simple. So what we're saying, is this the way that I wrote down? Yeah, is that um, a plus b plus c, the sum of our new equations roots, is well, it goes minus plus minus, so it's minus twelve over two, so minus six. Um, the sum of the products a b plus b c plus a c is 27 over 2 and ABC is minus 25 over 2. So that's that's doing our you know some products all of that stuff with the new roots. Now um, 1 over what we're looking for A because it's a, a root of this new one A is alpha minus 2 and B is beta minus 2, and c is gamma minus 2. Okay, because that's how they re relate to the original equation. So, uh, if we want to think about 1 over these things, 1 over a plus 1 over b plus 1 over c, which is the thing that we're after, if we combine that into one fraction, that's putting it all over ABC. We need to multiply the, this first fraction by BC. And the second fraction, we're multiplying by AC. And the third fraction, we're multiplying by AB. So can you see that ends up being 27 over 2 on the top line, because that's just that bit there. 
divided by minus 6, no, uh, minus 25 over Q on the bottom line, that looks like a 26. Which means the answer is minus 27 over 25 at the end of all of that. There are a number of different ways that we can do this, but that was the way that I did it um, to arrive at that. And that's math.